like the college maybe? Oh, I haven't even tried it. Oh, okay. Did you want to Well, back in New Jersey, that quick check coffee. I miss this stuff. All right, I'm back in New Jersey for about a week. Uh, got a few things I need to knock out to the van. Real big push for business to make sure that I'm setting myself up for success when I go back to Central Maine. Maine? Oh man, life is a crazy thing, kids. Loving it. I have a lot to do the next three or four days. So I'm gonna head out to my work spot uh, over in, um, uh, I think it's Belmar Beach. No. Nope. Anyway, I'm gonna go over to my normal work spot, which has a great spot to work, uh, the gym, great place to park, good views, um, and knock out this work. Gotta run some errands. I'm excited about it. And uh, let's get it. All right, fam, we are back at, uh, at Daniel's place here in New Jersey. Been a good morning, got up. Uh, not early, but got up and went and got some coffee with Daniel. Um, sipping on that right now. Had a uh, had a little chat with my lady. Um, there she is. Had a little chat with my lady, and uh, now I am working on a couple things with the van. So one of the minor issues I was having was that this wand, this gear shift situation, was like, I guess it's still a little. A little loose but it was like super wonky it was definitely really all over the place very very loose so so it turns out the issue was this little uh bushing or they call it a uh a damper um so i ordered a couple a while back well before i even went on uh vacation and i had to pull this pin out and put this back in there so it's feeling definitely more snug but once i get the uh the pieces back on there and screw everything back in I think it's gonna be good. So it's, there's not near as much play in it as there was previously, so. And then the next move is I've got to fix. So I wired up, I mentioned to you guys in the previous vlog that I was planning on wiring this bad boy directly into uh, the power source because these two power points on the van we discovered are continuous. They're constantly live even when the van is off. So I went ahead and wired in one of these cool toggle switches. So I'm not messing with the cheap Chinese 12 volt plug-in, which essentially has been falling apart for like three, four months and just bar like barely getting it in, pulling it out, like not, not a good deal. So I wired this in and it's working. Oh no, <laughs> it's not working because I've got the, the ground that I, I, I undid the battery, so it's not working. Um, in any case, the, the uh, LED light on this turns on, but the camera does not, and I discovered that um, this particular 12 volt plug-in had uh, basically a voltage regulator. So the camera only is willing to receive five volts, whereas of course the rest of the vehicle is 12 volts. So um, I've got a little uh, reducer, voltage reducer, that I'll show you guys here in a minute that I'm gonna then wire in. And fingers crossed, if that's all I need, then I'll have a, uh, a functioning working backup camera that I don't have to fiddle with something falling apart every time. It's literally just a flick on, flick off. Um, I feel like it should be a standard practice, but when you put these things together yourself, it's just fun, it's neat. Um, yeah. All right guys, so I figured I would show you this, oh, it's taped. It's taped together. All right guys, this is the voltage step down unit that I'm gonna wire into uh, the camera. There's Daniel. I'm gonna wire into the camera and hopefully this thing um, drops the voltage to the appropriate five volts. Make sure I order the right part. Um, and the camera will turn on once I get this battery back up and playing. Let's get it. <laughs> 